let's design our call to action section here so here is our call to action mm -hmm. okay now there is a two column let's design it very quickly take a new container here with two columns well and add a background color before adding background color add a minimum height let's say uh, 40 400 and add a background color from here and it's a gradient color let's change the gradient color value here so um, copy I think we can take the color okay so I, I have a color picker here that I can use let's clear all let's and select here so I have selected two color let's copy this one go to my editor you can use color picker any color picker chrome add-on you can simply type search here uh, color picker for chrome you can use any of them i'm not going to show it show you the color picker option as of now it's not necessary let's view our design so this one should be bluish and this one should be this color and the other one is bluish color okay copy the color paste here it looks like this so we are almost done with the section let's add this uh, image go to editor add image so from here should be product thumbnail hero area mm -hmm. maybe i haven't exported that image i don't know uh, it's not available here let's export this one am i missing that image well let's export this one select png and select uh, to x which is little bit bigger now import it here and here you can see the image is a lot of uh, link here so it doesn't matter you can rename the image and upload them here now uh, go to style and remove the margin so also i have to remove here the padding and spacing should be zero and also the container like the hero area that we have added and the bottom should be zero i hope you understand what i did here well now it's time to add text called cell which is 128 pixel and the font family is licorice licorice uh, i don't know how it's spelling here so now i have added uh, text cell and let's select the typography right now as you can see it's a default heading so when i'm using default heading it doesn't have the features to change the typography and in that situation you can simply convert this heading to spectra heading here and now if i click on style you can see the typography change the font family lico okay isn't it available l i c o maybe it's not available c o so it's not available so what i can do i can do is simply export this one but let's let's copy other text here then i'll be adding them later on and convert this one to normal heading it's not I, I, it's not necessary to use that heading as of now and for female 
Deal every day. Copy. Hit enter. So I think. Another heading here. Female every day. It should be H2. And button women shop. Okay. Let's update. So before updating, uh, let's take a look at here. We have added this one, this one, and also I need, I have to add image here. So let's add image for sale. Click here, add image. Take to the top and go to Figma design and select the cell here this one and click export as PNG and make sure you have selected 2x now we have exported the cell image click upload cell that's it and you can reduce the size it looks like this so i'm not sure if you have noticed this one that it has some spacing all the elements here right because here we can change the flex properties the justify content it's now displaying center and um, we can change the view only here let's change it to style the row gap should be zero and also the heading and also this one i would like to make it group and i would like to convert this image to okay so that's okay so let's add some margin below this cell image margin bottom 10 pixel and also add some spacing at the group bottom area so i can unlink block not block spacing so it should be Padding bottom. Okay, click update. Go to home page. And now we are almost done, but we have to change the cell to the left side. Click here. I don't know why it's displaying on the right side. Change the alignment to left. Reload. And boom we are done we have completed our section here but it's not full width as you can see it's displaying full width we can keep this one as full width it looks great but if we want we can make it um, box mode except using the full width from container select container go to general and uh, let's see there should be width so we can change the width to box mode to full width and here you can see we have changed the container width to box let's select how it looks so we can use this format or we can use the full width mode but i really like the full width feature so uh, in the box we can change the width uh, hide everything let's make it full weight it looks great i hope you all agree with me so we have completed our call to action sections and for the women i can add a link as well but i'll do it later on now let's
create this section so let's create this section on this part i'm not going to create another part here it's easy because all we have to simply select this container copy block and scroll down then paste here that's it change the text to summer collection and on sale t-shirt well so that's the changes that i have made but here you can see in short code let's command f to search sell and see there is if on sale product here you can see there is an options sale products that will displaying only inside your short code and here you can see on sale to retrieve on sale product not to use not to be used in conjunction so we can select on sale and type and copy first of all you have you, you can learn from here you can just paste on sale and see we can add on sale we can add based selling product we can add top rated product we can filter them so that's great right and how we can use them here you can see also the option so we can select on sale equal then quotation then true so let's change it here sell on sale quotation and add here true so it will be displaying only on sale product so let's reload as you can see those are on sale right it's displaying here but i'm sorry so but uh, here if i go to shop page there are uh, four products so if i go to any other products here let's say this one and okay inventory so if i select out of stock and go to home page you can see this one is out of stock but on sale so that means here you can see the sale price if i remove this one so if it's still out of stock then it will display here but if i remove the on sale price then it will not going to display here so that's the thing that i would like to share with you here as well so i hope you understand how it works let's take a look at other sections